Pastor Gino Jennings preach the gospel in Mandeville, Jamaica. Hello friends welcome to the truth of God Jesus Christ is Lord channel. Here is another reaction video with Pastor Gino Jennings. We believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is the Creator of heaven and earth according to the scriptures. This channel is for educational purposes only. Let's watch and learn together. Amen. Follow me in your Bible. Now in the book of Joshua 1st chapter 24 and we'll start reading at the 15th verse. All right. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day. Wait a minute. Hmm. What is the first statement? And if it seem evil unto you. That's the way it is now. Amen. People look at us with great evil. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because we serve the Lord here. Oh, yeah. You want to get an argument out of somebody? Mm -hmm. Tell the preacher here in Jamaica when he asks you. What church you go to? Uh, First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Gino Jennings overseer. That man! Yes. That, amen. That's right, right, I said. That's right. That crazy American man. Yes. Amen. He's tearing up the island. Yeah. I'm not tearing up the island. <laughs> God is tearing up the island. And he's using his gospel to do it. That's right. To all the churches here in Jamaica, I don't hate you. I want to unify you. That's right. All so-called apostolics, Pentecostals, Seventh-day Adventists, non-denominationals, I want to unify all of you. Right. But not ignoring your differences. That's right. To be unified with each other, you first must be one with God. That's right. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Amen. You can't overlook all this man-made trash yeah. that came from Bible college and went in your churches. That's right. And you call it scripture. scripture. You call it religious beliefs. The thing that should govern the church is God's word. That's right. Not a PhD degree. Not a degree in philosophy. Right. Not theology. That's right. mm -hmm. The word of our Lord is the tool that should govern the church. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Joshua chapter 24, and we're at verse 15. What is it? And if it seem evil unto you. Imagine it seem evil to somebody. Lord. To do what? To serve the Lord. Supervisors at the job cringe if they come into a cafeteria on your lunch break and see you reading the Bible. That's right. They don't say nothing if you're reading the newspaper. That's right. No. That's right. That's right. But if you read the Bible, they say, don't you suppose you're taking your lunch break? I am. That's right. <laughs> Amen. What I do on my lunch break is my business. Mm -hmm. I'm eating the word. That's right. The word is my lunch now. Amen. It's something about God. That's right. That brings anger yeah. and hatred and violence towards believers. Amen. Now, understand this. The hatred that comes to God's people in most cases comes from Christians. That's right. Them that claim they're Christians. That's right. I get mail from viewers all around the world. I mean all around the world. But not only are they writing us, they're coming in to walk with the truth. Mm -hmm. Before I came here, a white gentleman called the church upset because of what we was preaching and he left a detailed message mm -hmm. on the voicemail. He said, I'm looking at all you monkeys mm. <laughs> on my mm. next telecast, God willing, I'll read it. Mm. He 
said, I'm looking at all you monkeys in the church. Lord. And this, he called me the head nigger. Mm. This loud mouth nigger. All you monkeys, he said, need to go back to Africa. Lord. And he said, that nigger. Oh. <laughs> and undoubtedly, he said, you're a Christian. Amen. They upset because we're taking away the years of belief mm -hmm. in a white Jesus. That's right. To all of you that are here mm -hmm. and to all my watchers of CBM and around the world, I want to give you a shocking news report. Hmm. The Bible never said Jesus was a white man. No, never. Prove that your pastor been brainwashed and he still have a servitude mentality yeah. and hate himself. One of the reasons why pictures was made of a so-called white Jesus was to keep people of color Hating themselves. That's right. And serving white folk. That's right. Because making a picture look like your master mm. make you stay humble to your master. Amen. It's called propaganda. Yeah. To this very day, you go in churches. You see a big poster of a so-called white Jesus Amen. in the back of the pulpit yeah. on the stained windows of your church mm -hmm. and some of y'all houses that's sitting here. Yeah. Some of you politicians right here in Jamaica, yeah. you think you're a Christian because you got a white Jesus. That's right. You probably got pictures of a white Jesus in your office in Parliament. Amen. When Jamaica get in trouble, the politicians probably hold hands and turn to the face of the white Jesus. That's right. And think the white Jesus will save you. Amen. Listen at what Pastor Jen is about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Your white Jesus is going to hell. Mm. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Your white Jesus <laughs> is of the devil. Amen. Your white Jesus yeah. is a symbol of hatred. Yeah. Your white Jesus mm -hmm. is not a symbol of God. No. Your white Jesus mm -hmm. is a form of justification of separatism. That's right. That's right. Somebody said, I ain't come to hear this. <laughs> you come to hear the truth, didn't you? Amen. Now, if you're scared, it's best you leave now. <laughs> In order to serve God right. right. And when y'all leave, make sure you go home. You that got the pictures of the little white Jesus on your wall over your bed. So when you get up in the morning, have your morning prayer, you're looking at him. Right. Jesus. Please, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm in trouble. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. You see how the devil made a fool out of you? Amen. 20th chapter of the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20, we'll start at verse 1. God said, And God spake all these words. Saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. What is it? Out of the house of bondage. What is it? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What else? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Wait a minute. Amen. All right. Amen. What did he say? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Of what? Or any likeness of anything. Where? That is in heaven above. God is in heaven. Right. And the angels are in heaven. That's right. So there should not be no pictures or paintings. 
mm -hmm. that's supposed to be Jesus or angels. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. To have it in your home. That's right. To have it in your office. Mm -hmm. To have it around your neck, on yeah. your wall, in your church. Amen. Is a sin and is blasphemy. That's right. That's right. You that think you're a Christian because you got a cross around your neck. With a person on it. Yeah. That's right. Tell me who's that person on your neck. Amen. It ain't Jesus. No. Jesus ain't on no cross. No, no. He done been, died, and rose and ascended above all heavens. That's right. Imagery. Thou shalt not make unto Let me show you how wicked America is. Mm -hmm. There are men, I believe they kind of touched in the head in America. <laughs> I saw one before I came to Jamaica who walk around dressed in ancient clothing. Oh Lord. Wear their hair long and wear a goatee beard, yeah. sandals, and a staff. Yeah. Mm. Trying to look like the pictures of the white Jesus, and they get dressed like this yeah. right. and walk down the streets of America. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And people bump their horn and say, Hello, Jesus. Yeah. And he wave at him. He wave. Yeah. Yeah. Churches in America and in foreign countries and in the Caribbean have what they call Christian plays. That's right. And somebody play the role of Jesus. That's right. That's blasphemy. Amen. Be not deceived. The moment a man mm -hmm. play a role. In a so-called play. And say he Jesus. He's Jesus. One, he lied. That's right. Two, he blasphemed. That's right. Because the Bible says, be not. Be not deceived. Trick. God. God. Is not mocked. You don't play with God. That's yeah. right. No, no, no. That's right. That's right. Why is this preaching necessary today? We are living in the last days. Amen. And anything that will keep me from the kingdom of God, yeah. I must disassociate myself with it. That's right. That's right. Even in the schools. Yeah. No child of God should be in a so-called Christian play. Amen. Look at the title. Christian play. Christian you play. don't play Jesus. That's right. And you don't play church. Amen. Be not deceived. A play should not take place in church. That's right. That's right. Talk Amen. back to me. Amen. Go ahead, brother. You should never Go ahead. Be able to go to a so-called house of God. Amen. And there's a play. There's a play. Mm -hmm. No person mm -hmm. should buy a ticket yeah. to go to no stadium. Yes. No theater mm -hmm. to look at a so-called Christian play. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says, be not deceived. Don't be tricked. God is not mocked. Oh, I know this is going to put a lot of people out of business. All yes, right. it would. Put them out of business. Yes, it will. Look at what they're doing. Amen. Making money, money. off the name of Jesus. That's right. That's what, they're doing. Amen. what is the danger of having a play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make money. What is the danger? Nah, here, here, here. You. <laughs> That's in the movie industry. Mm. Because I got NBA stars that watch the telecast. Yeah. Amen. That come to First Church. Amen. I got NFL players that yeah. watch the telecast. Yeah. yeah. That come to First Church. Yeah. Amen. Soccer is a big thing here. Right. <laughs> they call it football. Yeah. In Europe, one of the top paying football players. Mm hmm Got a hold of the program on YouTube. Yeah. Amen. Contact us from Europe. Mm. 
went down in water. No, he didn't. Wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Amen. We was kicking some scripture to him. That's right. That's right. I don't care about your position. That's right. I don't care about your money. No, no. We was born without a dime. Amen. We shall die the same way. That's right. That's right. Preachers become impressed with famous people. Yeah. Come to their church. Mm -hmm. One time I was here in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and the coach for both yeah. came to one of the services. Right. Amen. He came, and they watched the telecast. Mm -hmm. I want to get both in a real race. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I want to get both in a real race. No, you're not. What kind of race? That's right. Listen at the book. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and at verse 24. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 9, 24. No, you're not. Don't you know? That they which run. That they which run. In a race. Who's running? Run all. But what happened? But one received one. the prize. One. One. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive the prize. So run. So run. That ye may obtain. Yes, Amen. Getting medals and accomplishments is good. Yeah. Oh, man, Jamaica, you got a team, brother. Oh, yeah. When Jamaica get on the track field, you know what's going to happen. That's right. Whether it's men or women. That's right. But there's a race. There's a race. That you're overlooking. No, ye not. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to run That's for right. your life. That's right. God. Amen. Is the prize. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Beating other teams. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. But can you beat Satan? That's it. That's it. You can't train in the field no. to beat Satan. No, no. You need God to beat Satan. That's right. That's right. Amen. Satan wants to destroy yeah. all believers yeah. of God. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Amen. All them that believe Amen. in the one God yeah. of the universe. Oh, yeah. Satan wish to destroy them. That's right. What is Satan doing to destroy God's people? Mm -hmm. There's a common distraction mm -hmm. that is taking place in America, Amen. in Europe, in Asia, yeah. in Africa, uh -huh. and in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You see, brothers and sisters, you that are watching mm -hmm. over CBM, mm -hmm. your pastors Amen. that come on CBM and TDBJ, yeah. they are mimicking yes. the preachers from America. Amen. They see the American preachers not for what they are, mm -hmm. but for what they have. Right. They are impressed because they drive Rolls Royces. That's right. They are impressed because they drive Bentley. That's right. They are impressed because they got mega churches. Amen. And because they are impressed, mm -hmm. they are willing to resort to the same sin. Oh, yeah. Same tactic. Same tactic. Same hustle. Amen. To rob our Jamaican brothers and sisters. That's right. So in most of the churches in Jamaica, mm -hmm. the preachers got this one message. Mm -hmm. 
They don't use the word like America, prosperity. Yeah. Right. They call it a breakthrough. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. They use a whole slick term. Yeah. I observe it. Yeah. Amen. This is your breakthrough. Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they tell you, if you want a breakthrough, mm -hmm. hold a neighbor hand and say, breakthrough. Yeah. They have you thinking that your breakthrough, yeah. your deliverance, according to them, mm -hmm. is centered around dollars and cents. That's right. All right. Suppose you get a check for $10,000. Mm -hmm. You still have not broken through. No. no. Your true breakthrough is when you come out of sin. That's right. It's when you obey God. That's it. That's you right. can be a millionaire yeah. and nothing but a rich sinner. That's it. Look at Trump. That's right. The president of the, of the divided states. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You got three Americas in one country. Yeah. White America, mm -hmm. Black America, mm -hmm. and Hispanic America. Yeah. And Trump leans to White America. White America. Are you listening? Amen. Now I know some of you don't like what I'm saying, and you know I don't care if you don't. Yeah. The prosperity message, mm -hmm. viewers came from Satan. That's right. Amen. That's right. God have never, never sent one man no. to teach prosperity, mm -hmm. wealth, money, big houses, expensive cars. No. No. no, no, no. That is not what church was for. When the Lord says, upon this rock, I built my, my church, church, he did not have you get money in mind. That's right. That's right. That's right. If he said, I build my church, my church, then what is God's agenda yeah. for the church? Amen. Now, you Jamaican brothers and sisters, I can save you some money. Mm -hmm. Very easy if you would listen. Mm -hmm. Just stop That's paying right. your preacher. That's right. Let your preacher go get a job and go to work. That's right. That's right. The church should not be buying cars for the pastor. Amen. The church should not be buying houses for the pastor. That's right. The church should not be buying clothing Amen. for the pastor. That's right. The church should not be putting the pastor children Amen. through school. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. This we commanded you. Listen, 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 listen. Now, listen. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and at verse 10. You see why they don't like us here in Jamaica? Amen. We break up their racket. Yeah. It's a racket going on here. That's right. Listen, this in Second Thessalonians again. in Second Thessalonians chapter three and at verse ten. This we commanded you that if any would not work, if any don't work, neither should he eat. Let your bishop starve. That's right. That's right. Amen. Let him starve. That's right. That's right. The reason why some of these men get in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. Because they can't find work. That's Amen. It. That's it. So Amen. then they say, oh, I heard a voice. Yeah. 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 I heard a voice. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, he said, come unto me, all you that labor. That's right. That's right. And I looked around at, and there was no one there. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. then. Right then. I had the calling. Yeah. And have you noticed some men claim they got a calling yeah. when they disagree with the preacher? Amen. When they was under the preacher, mm -hmm. they ain't had no call. Yeah. But the moment they disagree with the preacher, mm -hmm. it's the same lie. That's right. I, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
but I just had to do God's will. That's right. Amen. The Bible says the love of money. You better get that. Get that. First Timothy chapter 6. Is everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Amen. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Mm -hmm. Listen. First Timothy chapter 6, we'll start at verse 9. Yes. But they that will be rich. Uh-oh. Amen. Amen. They. They that will be rich. Well, you know that scripture ain't talking to everybody. That's right. No. That's right. That's right. It ain't talking to none of us. <laughs> oh, no. Pastor Jenny, you look rich. Looks are deceiving. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's right. There ain't nothing rich about me. No, no. Other than the gospel that we have. That's Amen. Right. That's it. That's it. The Bible says. But they that will be rich. They that will be wealthy. Fall into temptation. And what? And a snare. You see, they got so much money and they don't have God. Right. Most of your wealthy don't feel the need for God. That's right. And if they do go to church, they have the audacity to think they're doing God a favor. Amen. So let's look at the so-called bourgeoisie preachers. Go ahead, right. brother. All right. That's right. The arrogant, self-righteous. That's right. Bling, bling preachers. Yeah. Yeah. Got the gold on their fingers, yeah. gold in their mouth, yeah. gold bracelets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they claim they had a breakthrough. That's right. They that trust in their wealth. Listen. In Psalms 49 and at verse 6. What is it? They that trust in their wealth uh -huh. and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. Hold it. Amen. Multitude. I want to talk to the preachers here in Jamaica and the world. Yeah. The preachers have made themselves mm -hmm. the measuring stick. Yeah, that's right. And the preachers say, for you to be blessed, yeah. you got to have a house like me. Amen. The preachers say, mm -hmm. for you to be blessed, you got to drive a car like me. That's right. The preacher said, for you to be blessed, you should be able to pay your bills like me. That's a liar. That's a liar. There is no preacher mm -hmm. on the earth that's a measuring stick for wealth. Amen. America have had countless of con artists. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And some of y'all like to watch them. Amen. T.D. Jakes is one of them. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Krefla O'Dollar is another. That's yes. right. Amen. Benny Hinn is another. Amen. Fred Price is another. That's right. That's right. Joel Austin. That's another. The smiling devil. Amen. Is another. That's another. Yep. The preachers here in Jamaica, they see the so-called preachers from America, mm -hmm. and now they are copying them. Amen. So they come to you on television. Oh, the Lord has spoke to me. He called Messiah. Huh. There's ten thousand dollars in the house if you want to break through. The Lord says He wants ten thousand dollars, and if you give the ten thousand dollars, He said you will have a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. No, you will be broke. That's right. That's right. Am I right? Amen. He is trying to break through. He's trying to break through. And he's trying to break through your wallet. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. The fear of the Lord had left church. Yeah. So if the fear, if the fear of God leaves a home, yeah. mm -hmm. how wild you think that family gonna be? Yeah. Just say if the father and the mother was God-fearing church people, yeah, yeah. baptized in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ, had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, raised their sons and daughters in the fear of God, all of a sudden, mama don't want to go to church, yeah. daddy quit going to church, what do you think will happen to that house? That's right. All right. All right. The whole house going to fall all apart. Right. Amen. Daddy was doing all right until he hit the lottery. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's another thing. Yeah. That's right. God's people. Amen. God's people. That's right. Don't play the lottery. That's right. Yeah. 
Sell. Will take lottery tickets and pray over them. Amen. And tell the Lord, Lord, we know you work in mysterious ways. <laughs> and you say whatsoever we ask in your name. Halala, shaba, boo boo. That's right. You will give it to us. That's right. Yeah, he said whatsoever you ask in his name, but there's another scripture you forgot. Mm -hmm. If you abide in my word and my word abide in you, yeah. then ask. Then ask. Yes. And God will not grant a yeah. sinful request. No, 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 no way. God is not going to condemn our sins mm -hmm. and then grant us a sinful request. That's right. It must be in his will, and his will is according to his word. So he that getteth riches. Listen. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and at verse 11. He that getteth riches. And not by right. And don't get it the right way. Shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at his end. At his end. Shall be a fool. Church is not designed mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. men rich. No. Amen. Let me say it again. Yeah. Church is not mm -hmm. designed to make men rich. That's right. No preacher in Jamaica or the world yeah. should got rich off of the All back the of hard working church members. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. And they had the nerve to tell you the man of God supposed to live like this. Yeah. Mm. The man of God is supposed to live like this for an example to you. My Lord. God made me an example mm. to show you what he can do for you. Amen. He did it for me. Yeah. But he can do it for you. Yeah. Amen. How many of you ever came from a church like that? Raise your hand. Amen. This is why preachers in Jamaica, most of them hate mm -hmm. Pastor Jennings. Oh, yeah. I've seen, give me some of your currency here that you ain't out of your wallet. Pastor Taylor, I want to make an example. Just give me a bundle of it, please. <laughs> your Jamaican currency. But you're making camps. He got a whole lot of Give me that. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'll give it back to you. <laughs> now, this is what they do in America. Mm -hmm. And don't be surprised if it's not being done in Jamaica yet. Mm -hmm. In America, the wealthy preachers who the people now make as God will sit in a throne-like chair. Yeah. Right. And members will come up with thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. and throw it. Come here, brother. Bring your chair and sit here. <laughs> sit it right there. And you sit down. Amen. You better not pick up nothing I throw at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to make an example. Amen. In America, members of these wealthy pimps that you call preachers, yes, yes. they come up by the thousands, mm -hmm. take money, mm -hmm. throw it at his feet. Throw it at his feet. And he sit there. Yeah. yeah. Is your toes sweating, son? <laughs> and look at all these it's several hundred people here. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how much money that man going to walk away with? That's right. And he didn't do nothing to deserve it? Yeah. Amen. How in the world can you make a preacher rich after he done lied to you for 10 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Years. 
Your mama and daddy died under him, and Amen. they are lost today because of him. Amen. That's right. And you still give that pimp your money. Your money. Yes. Oh, yeah. And if you have need and are hungry, that no good false prophet won't give you a dime. Talk to me. Get that together for me, brother. In the book of James, chapter 2. Amen. What did he say? In the book of James, chapter 2, we're at verse 15. All right. If a brother or sister be naked. Listen. Mm -hmm. If you know there's someone in need in the church, and you know it. If a brother or sister be naked. I don't mean someone in need, and you don't know it, and they're walking around and don't have a sister up to say something. Amen. I mean know it. Know it. Today, the church won't help you. They will use you. That's right. And then when you're in need, they'll toss you aside. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I lead thousands of people. Yeah. And here I find out that Minister Curry needs food in his house. Amen. And you know it. And I got money in my pocket. And you know it. If I got money in my pocket. Yeah. I'm not going to call the church to raise the offering. No. That's right. I'm going in my pocket yeah. Yeah. and give it to them. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would never ask them mm -hmm. to pay it back. Amen. Amen. Because he's really in need. Yeah. That's right. I'm not talking about someone who's trying to take advantage of the church. Yeah. No. Right. That's totally different. Yeah. That's right. Listen at this. James chapter 2 and at verse 15. Glory to God. If a brother or sister be naked. What? And destitute of daily food. Destitute of daily food. And one of you say unto them. All right. This is what you say to them. Depart in peace. Wait a minute. Hmm. God will work it out. Mm -hmm. That's right. Believe. That's right. Look up. Amen. For your redemption draw nigh. Mm -hmm. Depart. In peace. In peace. Be ye warm. Oh, just be warm. And filled. Ha, 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 glory. Notwithstanding. It ain't no time to get in no spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Bible says notwithstanding. Ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. So I said, well, wait a minute, Pastor Dennis. If, 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 if I can help them, yeah. then how does that tie in the Lord helping them? That's right. Do you think God help you one way? One way. God can help you direct, and God help you indirect. That's right. God help you through others. That's right. That's right. All of us that got jobs today, we don't work for no holy sanctified company. No. These companies are owned by sinners Amen. who are of the devil. That's right. But God still have blessed us through the sinner. That's right. And we're getting paid by the sinner. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And even though we're getting paid by the sinner, yes. if the sinner don't stop sinning, yeah. they still gonna go to hell That's right. even after they pay us. That's right. That's right. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Hope you guys learned something from this. God bless you.